What's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. Very exciting update uh, today. We have the Fly-By-Wire A320NX here with the VNAV finally functioning. I really regretted to fly this aircraft. We also have a special guest, Eliza Nicole, in the back right, whoop, right there. It's my girlfriend. You probably saw her as well on all the streams in the chat. But yeah, welcome in, guys. Happy Friday. Let's go ahead and get some uh, ground power set up, shall we? Alright, it is a cold and dark cockpit here. This won't be too long of a stream just because I'm testing the VNAV functionality of this aircraft. But if it all works, then we'll have uh, possibly some more uh, streams of this aircraft in the future. Alrighty, so still a very dark uh, flight deck here. Get some lights going. Let's see here. That. Flood. Just some flood lights to get us going. We'll start the flight pad. I already did a flight plan, so we're actually going to log into VATSIM. Uh, call sign speed road. What was it 438 and we're A32N? Our A2... 320neo. Just gotta double check the, uh... Call sign on here. 438, yeah, that's correct. So now we're live on Metsum. Let's see if I remember how to, um... Do this flight. Or how to fly this aircraft, rather. Okay, cool, so I got the, uh, flight plan summary there. Ah, shit. <laughs> we, uh, got a contact from ATC here. Okay, we'll we'll take care of that after. But we have ATC. What do you think? I think I think I should fly offline. I don't know. <laughs> as much as I want ATC, I just want to get this flight done. Um. All right. ATC. Okay. So my girlfriend says ATC. So our fuel today is five point three. To be specific, 5306, so we'll just type that in, and we will refuel. And our weight today, we go into 5.3. If we go into here, weight and balance, I think... Okay, so I need my calculator. Whoopsie. My zero fuel weight is 59,512. We have to subtract that from our current zero fuel weight, which is 42,500. <sighs> of course, it's in scientific mode. There we go, 17012 is what we have to add. So we're gonna do payload 17012, and we should get the correct zero fuel weight here. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot that I can't do that. Ah, <sighs> bollocks. All right, let's try this. Why can't I add payload there? I thought I could. All right, let's just do it the old school way. Um, how many passengers do we have on board? 178. That's close. 78. Entry out of range, of course. Can I fit 177? Nope. 176? Nope. 175? Huh. This is ridiculous. 172. Okay, I'm gonna put the most amount of passengers I could in here. It might be 174. Oh, I think I can do 175. Nope, 174. Okay, so we'll have 174. And we'll go into start boarding. Boarding completed. Uh... Okay, so... 
We have full packs. I just have to put, let's say, 2.4 in the cargo hold, and then we should be good. Oh, maybe I can just do OFP requests. There we go. No, but then our zero fuel rate is so Ladies off. Ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck, on behalf of myself, your captain, the first officer, and cabin crew, I'd like to take this time to welcome you aboard our flight. We're just wrapping up some paperwork up front Screw here. Screw it, good enough. final numbers from the ground crew, then we'll be on our way. Flight attendants will be coming through the cabin shortly with a very important safety briefing. We do ask that you give them your full undivided attention as they review the safety operations of this Airbus aircraft. We do appreciate your business having you aboard this flight. If there's anything we do to make your flight any more enjoyable, please don't hesitate to ask. Welcome aboard. Okay, so for the squawk, it's uh, 5452. Nine ride, Brickman's Park, six, Juliet. So let's go ahead and set that up in the F, uh, MCDU as well. So if we go into our flight plan, init request. IRS initialization, confirm. Cool. EGLL, we're doing nine or right, six, Juliet departure. Insert. Cool, onto our performance, we'll do flaps one. Flex 50, and that'll calculate our V-speeds here too. Okay, the frequency was 1326, so we'll put that in and hopefully we hear somebody. It's quiet so far. <laughs> when ready for, okay, so they said call when ready for pushback. JLL ATIS, um, so looks like we have information echo and temperature of 8, QNH 1032. 1032. Let me check what the initial climb is for this. I thought your plane was in Geneva. Hey, Kev Mikwa, look who it is actually in the back. It's Eliza Nicole. <laughs> My plane is in Geneva, but we teleported back to Heathrow. <laughs> This is sort of a test stream for this aircraft. Jet the red six three nine or nothing further. I'm on the sea Unicom one two D decimal eight with on. Right here over to Unicom. Thanks for your services tonight. Good day. Jet red six three nine up. And all stations, I think I'm gonna call it there. That's nothing further. Continue on Unicom one two D decimal eight. Good night, have enjoy the rest of your weekend. ATC's logging off. Good night. Good night. See ya. I did the see ya. Yeah, he's uh, ATC's logging off basically, so um, we'll be on Unicom anyways. But uh, all right. Well, without further ado, let me still get the charts here. And let me go into Sid. Six Juliet departure. Let's see, what's the top altitude? Looks like six. Yep, yeah, six thousand. Okay, cool. It's like two AM there? Yeah, I think so. It's it's crazy early there. I don't know why um London is still online. Anywho, uh we will turn the fuel pumps on the APU is going to come on right now and we're going to get our pushback underway here just brighten up this ecom here including these guys ND cool so APU is coming on Let me just make sure ATC is offline. Yep. Okay, cool. It's cold. Here's the outside. So nine right is just over there. I'm excited for this flight.
These screens are just slightly too bright for my flavor, or my taste rather. There we go. IRS alignment in one minute. APU is on, so we'll turn the APU bleed on. Is Eliza Nicole on her own device in the chat behind you? Yes, she is. She is. She's laying down and enjoying the vibes. <laughs> we were hanging out and we came home and Eliza said, Come on, let's stream. So here we are. Okay, we have good alignment, so let's go ahead and request a pushback. Beacon light on. Flight attendants, arm doors, and cross check. Alright, everything here is good. Excellent. VNAV, we will see how good it works. If it works, that would be great. Okay, beacon light is on, we'll release the brake. And we'll commence the push. Okay, ignition mode selector to start. Start number one. Your light vest is in a pouch under your seat. If it's just by the crew, tear open the pouch and put the vest and put it over your hat. Wrap the strap around your waist. Secure the buckle and pull the strap to tight. As you exit the aircraft, replace the vest by pulling down firmly on the red band or blowing into the tubes on both sides. The locator light on the shoulder will turn on automatically in water and remember never to place the vest inside the aircraft. This Airbus A320 is the emergency exit. Two doors in the front, four window exits over the wings, and two doors in the back. Each door is equipped with an evacuation slide that can be detached from the aircraft and used with the raft. All exits are clearly marked with a sign overhead. If necessary, you can close the lower level lighting will illuminate the aisles at the top of the exit. Please remember to close the lower level lighting and locate your closest exit and remain number eight may be behind the exit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If there is a change in cabin pressure for oxygen, look at that perfect bloody push. Wow. Okay, push back complete, starting, sorry, setting parking brake. Get on number one, starting number two. And the toe is pulling away. Almost a good engine starting on number two. Takes a while for these to start up, the CFM Leap 1As. Okay, there we go. Two good engine starts. Uh, APU bleed off. Engine mode selector back to ignition normal. Flaps one. Speed brake armed. APU coming off. Wing light on. Flight control check. Flight controls free and correct. Auto brake max. Cabin notified. TL configed. She does need to be able to enter her prediction. Ha! <laughs> yeah. We got that going, so once uh, once the prediction opens up, she'll she'll definitely put that in. Okay, TL config test. TL config is normal. Predictive wind shear is on. Parking brake is released. Taxi light on. There we go.
Taxi to runway zero nine right. Gonna make the next right. All the way down. She's one for one today. Oh yeah. We'll see who wins the next one. It could be you, Kevin McQuay. You never know. Or me if I if I guess. Okay, before takeoff checklist, flaps one, speed brake is armed, auto brake is set to max. Let's hope it's not a Ryanair landing. No, this is this is British Airways. Only greasers here. <laughs> no such thing. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, entering the runway. Landing lights coming on. Flight attendants, please prepare for takeoff. Okay, uh, you guys ready for takeoff? Here we go. Okay. Man flex, 50 SRS runway, auto thrust is blue. 100. V1, rotate. Pause ray, gear up. Welcome to the sky. Wow. Just wow on these visuals. I just mouthed wow to Eliza. Thrust climb, climb. Which guy? <laughs> I don't know which guy. Flaps up. Spoilers disarmed. Autopilot on. Welcome to the... No, welcome to the sky. SKY, welcome to the sky. That's my accent. So here's six, we're going to continue our climb up to flight level 290. Messing with you yet again, just messing. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so for some reason I cannot... There we go. I can't select... Um, standard on this. Let me Let me see if I can find something about it.
bottom of knob zone. Slightly above. Nope. Okay, so I quickly, I quickly have to change um, this to legacy mode because it's giving me some troubles here. So stand by, guys. There we go. That's better. And we'll do open climb. That's way better there. So 10,000. Lights coming off, wing off, seatbelt sign off. That's way better. Because I couldn't, I couldn't click. Okay, so now we're just uh, cruising up to uh, flight level 290. Let me just make sure that that's what we have here in our MCDU. Yep, 290 is set. Uh, at this point in the flight, we can look at our arrivals here. So, 3-6 right. Red fell 1 alpha. Let me see what they're doing in real life. Looks like they're actually doing, uh, runway six. Uh, runway six, our sits, our star is gonna change. So let me go back in here and repopulate it. So if we choose runway six, it'll give us a new star. But it looks like it's still the red one alpha. And any vias? No, not that I see. Cool, so we'll put that in the MCDU. Make sure everything is good, which it is. Excellent. Let's see if we have VNAV. Oh boy. Um, I don't see any VNAV marker. What the heck? Yeah, there's no VNAV. What? Did I update the wrong version? That is so weird. I literally did this stream to check out the VNAV. Let me go see. I don't know what happened.
Let me check Discord to see if they have any updates, but I honestly, I just updated it and I was told that there's VNAV now. So it honestly looks like, you guys are going to laugh, that VNAV was up updated like 12 minutes ago. And I updated the plane earlier thinking that VNAV was already in there. Actually 6.04, so half an hour ago. So I updated the plane thinking that I put VNAV on it, and I guess um, it did absolutely nothing to it, so. Joke's on me. But I was watching a live stream of EasyJet SimPilot 320 on YouTube, and I asked him if VNAV is on there, and he said, yeah. So I, there was an update for the plane, so I updated it, but I guess, I guess I didn't, I guess I was too early. Yep, for fuck's sakes. Yeah, because this was just updated 18 minutes ago. Oh my god. Oh well. Down the stream. Huh? What? No, because it's too hard. I'll just, I'll do this for a minute. Oh well, yeah, joke's on me, guys. It's okay, we'll still do this flight, we'll still finish this flight. Um, wow, that really, that's really shitty. What do you have to say about that, Eliza? You should have read everything. I did read everything. Oh crap. Ah, <sighs> for fuck's sakes. This always happens to me. It's okay, we're doing a flight for you guys anyways. Let's call this the last flight um, in the A320 without VNAV. <laughs> what? I know, and I named the title uh, Flyby Wire VNAV Update. Which technically I'm not wrong, but I started I started this this stream without without putting the update in, which is freaking hilarious. It's okay. No biggie. It's all good. So we're gonna have to calculate it still the old school way. Current altitude, target altitude, um So the chat command doesn't work because I don't have uh, 
FSUIPC for MSFS. So let me download it. There's a free release, I believe, on here. Three miles per thousand feet, yeah. So, yeah. We'll actually do two and a half degrees here. So 102 miles, okay. MSFS, here it is. Kill it. So that I'll I'll install that later. Oh well, bollocks. Big disappointment. It's like I trolled everyone on stream. Yeah, Eliza and I just finished drink oops, drinking ciders. Oh shit. And uh, this is my brand, Mike Dart Aviation, for those of you who don't know. Kinda awesome glasses here. Can't even give me the distance. Ah, oh, there we go, 142. So we'll descend in 40 miles at two and a half degrees. I'm I'm still mad at myself for not checking the plane update again. Ah. Such a fail. Let me just triple check. Check VNAV. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, it's not very official, which I don't, I don't understand why. I mean, maybe, maybe I have it. Maybe I missed something here in the, in the init page. I don't see any, oh. Wait. Oh, we have VNAV. We have VNAV. It's right there. That tells us our top of descent. Okay, guys, that was my fault. Uh, this was not a clickbait stream. Oh, that makes me so happy. Okay, that was our fault. We, How could we have missed? Because we were in a rush, that's why. In our perf page, we forgot... A very critical thing, or rather in our init page, 
on the second page. We forgot to put her in our weights. So of course it can't calculate VNAV if it doesn't know our weights. I mean, that's, that's so obvious. Oh my god, thank goodness. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> so, now we have VNAV. So I can, I can turn this off. Oh, thank god. That makes me very happy. There it is. There's the VNAV descent flag. Liza's here monitoring the aircraft. Liza likes to go, Wee! Liza loves playing with the effects as well. The, uh, the reverb. Cool, so there's our VNAV. That is awesome. Top of descent. One, zero, one, four, seven, Zulu, so four minutes till descent. Four minutes till descent. Just in time, yes, absolutely. We're going to descend right after Redfa. Uh, Liza and I are teasing each other about, uh... Can you say it? About farting. <laughs> I have, I have very, very huge suspicions about something, you know? <laughs> Almost two big suspicions. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the joys of being, uh, together. Let me just walk through this plan here. Yeah, that's fine. Fifteen miles to descent. Let's start putting the, uh, the landing information into this page here. So if we go into here... We'll pull the weather. I know you can do it through the MCDU, but... Again, this is just a test flight. Uh, 040 at 3. Six is the temperature. And the QNH is 1032. Let me quickly go to the flight pad. And... Going to approach runway 6. One eight nine for the minimums, and that's radio. Cool. So there you guys have it. We will pre-select uh, our altitude of two thousand. And we will shortly begin our descent. In fact, I could start it right now. So we'll go into descent mode. 
and we should hopefully have our VNAV working for the first time ever in the fly-by-wire A320. I'm literally, not praying, but hoping that it works. So we started our descent early, which is normal. There's a thousand feet a minute, and that green dot, green vertical profile dot should be following shortly. From the flight deck, ladies and gentlemen, as you may have noticed, we have begun our initial descent down to our destination. Now would be a good time to wrap up any business you need to Please take work. care of as we prepare for our approach. If you are up, once you return to your seat, we ask that you remain seated until the aircraft arrives safely at the gate. So far we're 600 feet above profile. 500, yes, there it is. It works. VNAV works. This is the first time this aircraft is descending on its own with vertical navigation. That is so cool. Finally. Thrust idle. Perfect. This is literally VNAV was the thing holding me back from flying this plane. We'll turn the seatbelt signs on. Auto brake, low. And down we go for Amsterdam. I love you. I love you. <laughs> there we go. Descending here with Eliza's butt in my face. Joking. Cool. So Amsterdam. Been a minute. Do not turn <laughs> my computer off, I swear to God. If you mess these knobs up, it's very easy to fix it. Because you just reset it to zero. Okay, VNAV is looking pretty good. I won't say it's perfect, but it's... This is EQ. Yeah, the 320 is, this fly-by-wire is definitely getting there, but it, it's not there yet. But VNAV is a big, big step forward. Level 200. We've been airborne for... I can barely read that. 26 minutes? Ow, sunburn. Got a personal masseuse here on board. Cockpit is a little bit warm and so is the uh, rest of the airplane, so we'll cool her down just a bit. And that temp should be dropping shortly. Hmm. 22 is comfortable. So if we put it like really cold all of a sudden, it should drop crazy fast. There it is. You know, it's actually, it's pretty, it's very good. It's very good so far. We'll see how it does on these different restrictions, but 
So far it's doing very, very good. It's doing really good. Yeah? What if well, it just randomly goes like... <laughs> that doesn't happen. We'll see how it does on this. You see these restrictions? Has to be above flight level 70 and below flight level 100. And then here it has to be above 2000. And there's a speed restriction here and here. So we'll see how it does. Are you tempted? <laughs> what are you putting on? Reverb? I really want to fly the MD-11, you have no idea. Hopefully tomorrow morning I'll wake up just in time for the stream and frickin' the MD-11 MD is like flawless. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> frickin' butthole. Oh, man. I think it'll do fine on this restriction. Just keep an eye on it. There's no reason to look outside, there's nothing outside. Making funny faces here. You wanna land? No. Liza wants to land everybody. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Next time. She landed a few times and landed or crash? <laughs> crash landing. <laughs> Ryanair. <laughs> Ryanair landing, yeah. Every time I talk about this. Radio check. Oh, the view meter. But it's... You can't let it go over zero, or it's peaking. So you adjust this. This is a game. I'll teach you everything later. Radio check! Hmm? Hmm? It's zero. Yeah, I can't go past it. But what if it does, but then it goes back? That's fine. As long as it doesn't... Fix stay there? Teaching Liza about audio. It's, very, it's a very, very fascinating uh, thing here. See how I hold that? Uh, and it was perfectly legit. That's this knob here. This knob stays like you know, a little bit. This is when you see, remember how it was that triangle? Now it's U for unity. But that triangle or something. Okay, let's say you have a light on. Like four, four, four more. So when we, when we get your mic, you play it into there. And then, yeah, script number two, and then everything will be adjusted. Yeah, no. Liza's, uh, sorry, Mick was said nerds. <laughs> yeah, I know, we are big nerds. Oh, look at that. So 10k, okay, and it's slowing down to 250, so it's doing its job. And we're at 10,000, so, um, let's go ahead and... Hey. It's too... Oh. I was going to go high five, sorry, high five myself. Oh, sorry. That's on stream. Let's go turn the landing lights on, the wing, um, runway turn off lights too. So we're thinking of getting Eliza just a dynamic microphone, like a Shure or something. Plug it into my, my mixer so she can talk too. And then just split the audio so we can both monitor and, you know, have audio input to it. Kamekwa says I am too. Oh yeah, no, we're, we're super big nerds. We're huge nerds. We, we love, like, geeking out on shit. That's why we're together. And then one day Eli Eliza will play her new ukulele on the on the stream. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So now it's slowing down to 220, but a little bit too soon. Um, we're 20, 20 miles, 25 miles or so away. So it would have been nice. It's my mom's. It would have been nice to see it slow down a little bit later, because now... Yeah. She could be her co-pilot, handle the comms and so forth. Yes. She actually, sh that would be freaking cool, dude. Because yeah. then we'll be able to hear the exact same thing. 
Look, she's already writing, like, taxi instructions. Oh, mm -hmm. Aww. Look at that. Yeah, VNAV works. I'm, I'm very happy with it. What is it? Make it so, he said. Oh. That hurt my ear. Alright. Alright. Hey. Bumped into the mic. Land this plane. Land this plane? Land. Landed immediately. In the ground. No. Ryanair. We're not doing a Ryanair landing. We're doing a nice British Airways landing. British Airways landing. Best landings. Yeah. Okay, so the Q&H was... One zero three two. So there's one zero three two. We'll arm the speed brake. We'll go from there. Here come the city lights. I'm actually very excited for this landing. First VNAV equipped aircraft landing with the flyby wire 320. Yeah, after this stream, we're gonna head to uh, Guitar Center with Eliza. One of our favorite places to go out on audio stuff and the best thing is they're open till nine so and then after that time for dinner time for dinner after that yep okay so we'll arm the ILS mode here Let's have a look. Okay, glide slip live. This stream was brought to you by Eliza Nicole. Eliza said, show me how you stream. Drummer, oh, that's cool. Need a drummer? Hell yeah. Got a bassist and a uh, keyboardist right here, so. Hell yeah, we need a drummer. That's so cool. I've always wanted to know how to drum, but. It takes a lot of coordination. Beautiful city lights here in Amsterdam as we are about to make our left base for runway 06. How long have you been drumming for, Kemikwa? Twelve DME flaps one. Slow to one eighty here. Light some Twitch streamer musician nerds unite. Hell yeah! I've noticed quite a few uh, Twitch streamers that are also musicians. Well, specifically flight sim. Nineteen eighty six. That's one of the freaking best years ever. Ah, oh, that's so dope. I gotta hear your playing, man. And I'll play- I'll play bass and keyboard one day- one day on stream, I just gotta set it up right. Okay, approach mode armed. Ah, oh, that's so cool, man. I respect that.
localizer. Flaps two. Runway is in sight. Okay. Runway. See the runway. Cool, runway is in sight. Press speed one three four. Two thousand five hundred. Wait on the gear here for a second. Here, down. Flaps three. Okay, speed 134 is our final approach speed. Flaps full. Okay, my aircraft. Okay, my controls. On final. Skipple traffic. This is Speedbird. 438 on final runway 06, skipple. Four DME. Twelve knots across one here. Such a pretty scene at night in MSFS. It's just absolutely stunning. Make sure you guys all have your landing predictions. Oh, sorry, I can't I can't do it. I, yeah, like I said, I can't do it because I don't have FSUIPC installed on MSFS, so the software can't communicate with the simulator. Sorry, guys. Hmm? 1,000. Huh? You guys can still guess, but I, I won't know what the number is. Sorry, guys. Next time. I have a note to install that. Yeah, sterile cockpit. Here we go. 1,000 feet checked. Olive oil. Thank you, Eliza. Buttery goodness, I predict that. There you go. Appreciate it. Little high, 500. correcting. 500. be checked. Versus, versus green, D cell. My brakes. 
Well, that was smooth. Tiny float, but not too bad. Landing lights off. Flaps up. I am way too fast. Oh, Jesus. Alright, here we go. Spoilers discerned. Welcome to Skipple. Let's start an APU quickly because our gate is just right over there. How's that? Just gotta turn the lights off, not to blind anybody. Ooh. I heard that yawn. Sorry, Sorry that I'm boring. Don't go on. Kidding. Sorry. There we go, let's set the parking brake. APU is available, let's shut those engines down. Alright, beacon light off, seatbelt sign off. APU bleed on, AD ears off, whoopsie. Yeah, first, the doors are verified. There we go. Welcome to Simple Guys. I uh, can't show you a replay because this is MSFS. I hope you guys enjoy that flight. I can confirm that VNAV is functional, so I will be flying this plane way more to like very cool destinations like Sardinia, Greece, Mediterranean destinations because it is summer. Well, summer's beginning. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Eliza, thanks for being the guest host today. And we'll catch you guys uh, another time. Take care, everybody.